Welcome to Revival Time Hub. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Let me tell you something I know by experience. Satan hates those who walk by faith. He hates believers. I mean, not just those who have chosen to believe God. Satan's assignment is to use everything around your life and discredit God. Getting you to a point where you can say, God, cut this thing, I'm tired, you are not faithful. Five years, no job. Five years, no promotion. You know, by reason of the work I do, people come and sometimes they experience all kinds of weariness. And you are praying for them and they are not saying amen again. And honestly, it's just that they are tired. Father, open up the doors and give them job. Then they will tell you, see, you are the seventh man of God who is praying for me. Seventh powerful man of God. The way man of God number three prayed for me, I thought as I walk out, my job will be waiting for me at the window. Well, just pray. I've come. Let me not embarrass you. Oh yeah, here is my head. And as you lay hand on that head, you see the thing pushing back your anointing because the, the gates of your heart are not open. Satan hates it when you have confidence in God's word. It is the reason why if God moves over your life and you refuse to share your testimony, I'm not threatening you, but you are killing someone's faith because someone's faith is depend. Do you know how people are blessed? when they hear testimonies of what God has done. You will be healing somebody. It is ministry too. It's not just when I come up on stage here. That's the reason why you see that we allocate a bit of time within the constraint of time we have to hear the testimonies. And as much as sometimes we want to cut the testimonies, once the people discern that, look, this is something notable and can bring healing and plant faith, they now just give it a little stretch so that we'll hear. So someone can be reciting your own problem. That's why you find out someone is sleeping during testimony and another person is crying. Wow. So God did this. This is where I am now. Let me hear. Let continue the testimony. Let me hear what happened. What did you then do? I was disappointed. I lost my job. Me too, I lost my job. Oh yeah, I'm listening. And then I went to dance round. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The person is making notes. Okay, dance round. Uh huh. And then I confess scripture. Uh huh. And then I met apostle. I stayed there oh, till I finally saw him. Uh huh. Then I did what again? <laughs> Are we together now? So by the time, listen, by the time he's done, you just gave somebody a road map. To his own victory that's why you hear someone say i sat back there have you heard people say that that i had this testimony and i said no 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 i got angry in my spirit you can provoke one another onto godliness let me encourage you if god has done something mighty in your life don't tell lies but don't keep quiet don't keep quiet it's you are not boasting and it's not just about showing that a man of god is anointed this is what god did for me and someone there is saying, Lord, forgive me, forgive me. My situation was not half this, situ this person's situation and yet I was almost giving up on you. I repent. Your testimony has brought deliverance for someone. Are we together? Satan fights your confidence. Let me give you two scriptures. Luke chapter 22, 31 to 32. Will not read it, just write it. Satan always wants to fight your confidence. Hebrews 10, 38 says the just shall live by faith. Let me encourage someone here. Never give up on God. Let me say that again. To a businessman, to a parent, to someone who is at the border of discouragement. Never give up. On God Job said though he slay me yet will I trust him I assure you in the name of Jesus for some of you this year will not end until you come to stand here to give your testimony I say it to you again I believe that God sent me with this word for someone you have spent a major part of the year crying but God is saying I should tell you even now in the name of Jesus even now 
this year will not end until you come and stand and testify and for some of you what God will do will be so quick you will be surprised I feel stirred in my heart to speak over a mother not just a young lady a mother your concern is you are saying God don't leave me this way in the name of Jesus our mother wherever you are I'm speaking to you by the Spirit this year will not end until you come to stand here to testify please be seated I testify I testify that your goodness is real I testify I testify your goodness is real your goodness is real I testify your goodness is real your goodness is real I testify your goodness is real say I will return with my evidence say it again I will return with my evidence now let the devil hear you say I will return with my evidence may it be so for you in the name of Jesus Jesus 